Uh, Holy Land lovers, it's me, your Captain Vasco speaking, and Merry Week Before Christmas, mostly. Uh, I was just complaining about how complicated the dates seem. I, I do love to complain, you know this about me. Um, speaking of dates, it is time to date this stream. It is Saturday, December 16th, 2023. I'm doing my darndest to not switch over to that new hard drive I bought until 2024. It's not all that important, but it will it, it would be nice to have a clean break on this one into the new year. I'm pretty sure I can manage it. I'm, I've been very conservative about uh, remaining space. Um, I, I think we'll have something like 70 gigs left on it. Uh, when all is said and done. No one cares about this. No one's relating to this. Um, it's time to play Chance of Sonar. Uh, I'm hoping to finish this game before the end of the year. As I was just saying before we started recording. I don't actually know how much this game is left. I don't want anyone to tell me. I just don't happen to know. Um, so we've gone through multiple languages. I mean... When we load up the game, I think it'll tell us how many symbols we haven't verified or validated. Or whatever word it uses for that. And that'll give us some sense, maybe? But, like, it seems as though, at minimum, we have some area to go to beyond the gate that we opened last time. Let's step back a minute. So, to recap, um, in previous weeks, we visited a sort of religious culture uh, that houses themselves in an abbey towards the bottom of the mountain. Uh, higher up, because it does seem like we're all in, in one vertical space, even though sometimes the relationship between things gets a little bit lost in the sauce, as it is said. Um, at one step up from them are the warrior culture. They revere music and like fighting. Um, they were originally a little hostile towards the, the, the devotees in the Abbey. They didn't want to let them through their gate. We fixed that last week. Um, above the warriors is the, the culture of the bards. They're also kind of into music. Their society sort of says that anyone who makes music is a cool person. And most other people are silly because music is great. Um, then, beyond a, a winding labyrinth, which we had something of a unique experience with, uh, is the is the realm of the... Uh, what do they call themselves? They, they sort of look like plague doctors. I think they called themselves alchemists. They're sort of a science and, and math culture. Um, they do, like, experiments, and a lot of their language focuses on numbers in a way that the other cultures don't. Um... Last week, we, we went through their whole deal. Uh, we really struggled to figure out the word for library, or I did, in fairness. But that map also kind of suggested it didn't contain the library. You can go back and see that whole ordeal. I got very upset about it. Um, but yeah, we managed to do all of that, learn their language. And that led us to open a big gate with sort of a magic key. And now I am actually realizing that they're... There should be something left to do, which is there's like a bunch of like mystery gates that we've encountered throughout our travels, like purple doorways that are locked with special keys. But we've we've only seen one key like that and we used it to open the fairy gate. So like maybe part of today will be like figuring out how to open those other doors and maybe figuring out what's behind them. I, I don't know. Uh, but we did open a big door using one of those keys, and there's like a mural somewhere that indicates that this is the the fairy gate. It'll take us to fairyland or something. I don't know. But we opened that last time, and that's pretty much where we left off. But uh, we didn't just find our way through this, the culture of the scientists. We did also use uh, what I've been calling the FaceTime machines to... Uh, hip-hop all over the FaceTime continuum to all the various gates up and down the mountain and to translate all those conversations and all the ones available to us we have translated which did lead to some changes in the world uh, we started a concert we saved some dying plants we opened God's favorite door uh, there's there's just generally some people hanging out the warriors helped capture a scientist who accidentally turned himself into a darkness loving monster uh, and some other stuff happened. But, like, that's, like, the bulk of what we accomplished last time. It was a combination of translating that scientific language and, and using it to ultimately open the fairy gate and also, uh, translating, uh, between the different cultures, which takes quite a lot of brain power. Um, and I'm not necessarily up to the task. But, uh, whether or not we're up to the task, it is time to play Chance of Sonar. Now, let's see... 
How many symbols do we have validated? Oh, we're actually missing a lot more than I thought. I thought maybe there'd be like a small subset of language. So maybe this will take two more streams? I don't know, we did get kind of a lot done last time. But I should stop talking and start playing. Also, hide demolition. Let's go through this gate. So this is the fairy gate. Everything's purple now, as you can see. Much different color temperature to what the, the screen has been emanating on me uh, as we've been talking. Already kind of into the whole vibe here. Let's take a look at this. Cool. Some symbols that are... They're, they're kind of just Tetris lines. It's kind of, kind of a lot of them, actually. Not like a ton of context. There is... It's worth noting that, like, there's, there's some, like, no-no squares. F feels, you know... It's, it's not exactly scientific or anything. But I'm kind of inclined to just say this big no-no square is like a big... A big note box. You know, when they say that people get up on their note box and tell you not to do stuff. Is that not what they say? Well, it may not surprise you to know I'm not very good at language. Um, so yeah, there's like some V's and a JK. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. It's my first look at... What I'm guessing is the final language. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, tell you what, let's look at that thing again, and we'll see how realistic it is to fill that out. <laughs> um, so it feels like the tower is the little beaker with a with a line on it. That seems pretty safe. Um, the 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 the, the like SOS kind of lines look like they could be crowds because if you if we look at the they're kind of like above these things that look like a group of people now what i'm not just super duper sure about just going from the one little bit of information i have is like exactly what's going on in that third picture there it's like not like a whole lot of context but that looks like someone who is alone or maybe looking at Maybe looking at the sky is what they're doing? Something, something people... Something people know. Also know. And this is... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I can find context somewhere else. I don't want to brute force it. I, I've been saying that this whole game. I'd rather, like, have a legitimate reason to solve the puzzles unless the game, like, really roadblocks me by, like doing a weird doodle I can't interpret. Like, that's held us up a little bit. Then then I'm a little more inclined to to brute force because there's kind of not a way forward if it's, like, not actually click. What is... This This is making me think of that thing from I Think You Should Leave Season 3 where there's a game show and a guy tries to do VR and he forgets how to breathe. Hello? Oh, hi. Um... Yeah, no, so sorry, buddy. I'm too stupid to talk to you. Is he making TV with his mind? Why is, like, TV, like, projection happening here? Oh, there's, like, a lot. There's, like, a lot happening here, huh? There's, like, a whole... It's implied that it's kind of behind my face and whatever. There's a whole other line of that happening. That's interesting. I will have to evaluate what I think of these various sections once we get to the end. Well, this is also weird. I don't seem to, like, annoy this person right away by just stopping them for what they're doing, but, like, there's- they're- it looks like they should adjust their set, because I don't think that's the effect of the outer limits over there. I think- I think that thing's broken. Oh, wait a minute. How come he doesn't have, like, a nope square on one of his? Because, like, these two up here, I mean, they have a screen on one side of them, but they also have something that's just, like, a like a note square. Hold on. So could it be that the, the note is a shortcut for, like, a vision of a different place? Exile? Exile? That word means exile? I mean, the other two were pretty much what I thought. 
But so when you get exiled, they like plug you into like a really good video game? Well, I better start disrupting society then, because like I never have time for games. I I've asked for Baldur's Gate 3 for Christmas, and I'll never have time to play it, because it's like, I think it's like 900 hours long. I have to figure out a way to put it in my schedule, because I do really want to play it. So I found another FaceTime. That's all the terminals, and you're telling me I've only done half of the- Okay. That's weird. The last guy can't even, like, talk to anyone yet? I feel like there's something I don't know about these terminals yet. You could say I've activated all of them, but I think there's a trick- I think there's a trick to it. Uh, let's keep going on the low path. What's that over there that looks like kind of like a FaceTime? It's a little different. Um. Uh. That's, that's cool and all, buddy. But, uh. I think I'm too stupid to talk to you, too. Boy, this sure is. This, this somehow combines all the languages into one terminal. And, and. I think somehow it knows what symbols I don't have validated. Which is interesting. I'm not sure how it would intuit that. Let's upgrade. Oh my god. I'm, I, I hold such a grudge against upgrade. I mean, the, the trick is, like, it seems as though this, like... Wait a minute. Yeah, there's, like, some rotation here, so I can't take any, like, immediate relationship for granted. Oh, hang on. Seems like... Death and death. It's one of these death? Huh. Let me try a little something. Do a little turn on the catwalk. So, if that one were death... Go and pass door versus... Some, some nonsense. But if... Oh, oh, what? Wait, how are you even... Okay. But if this one were death... No, I don't think this is a translation, right? This is something else. Am I trying to make... Oh, yeah. The way it's laid out, there may just not always be like a... Yeah, okay. Okay. But this, but this word is, the, the middle ones don't move, so I have to move you to there, you, you. This could be fine, although I really shouldn't mess with this, because this... This could mean so many things, you see. I mean, like... Because, like, the problem is, like, if I have this... Well, okay, let me try one more thing, and then I'm gonna leave this alone. So if I do that, then all up in this business, that's where go pass is. And I have a go pass, which is different. The controls for this are... Okay! Did that just automatically validate all those symbols? That's pretty wild. Alright, well, I guess... This feels like something out of the dig. It's pretty cool. That's a compliment. Even though the dig is definitely a flawed game, I really like the dig. Um, okay. Now, the weird thing about that terminal is it sort of divorces me from individually understanding the meaning of those symbols. And it's not necessarily, like, a, a flaw or a problem. It just means that I will be more reliant on the in-game translation, is what that means. But I do think that's a cool terminal, where if you, like, line it up correctly, it shows you what's upgrade. But I just kind of want to take a look at it now. So, the teeter-totter, that's go. 
The Tetris with the little line, that's door. Okay. Uh, you is like half an up arrow. Kind of makes me think that like a straight line up might yet again be basis for like a person or figure of some kind. Uh, help is like a little, like a little boxy frog sort of thing. Dead kind of looks like the little plural symbol from the Warriors, if I remember correctly. And then up is, oof. I don't know. Feels like this might be a tough one. Something, 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 tower. Hey, well, Pixie, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Uh, sorry, I really focused on that for a second. Uh, I don't think I missed anything too terribly important. Mostly commenting on the stuff going on in the game, which is cool. Uh, how's everyone doing, by the way? It's Saturday. That's cool. Do I need to fix this? Do I care about this? I guess not. These stairs are weird. I wonder if there's some architectural reason to do the... Okay. Sure. This feels like some... Weird Zardoz stuff. Hey, anyone see Zardoz? It's an unbelievably unreal movie. Stairs are not ADA compliant. You know, that's true. I do, okay. Not like a lot of cutscenes in this game. That does seem of significance, though. Exiles to the left of me, exiles to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with God's second favorite door? Is this a peephole? Man-human. Man-human. I'm gonna go on a limb and say that one might be man-human. I don't know. Kind of weird that that one doesn't auto-translate, but yeah, sure. Now, one thing I'm actually kind of interested in that I don't think I've talked or thought much about is, like, I wonder how this game plays in other languages. I mean, it definitely seems possible to localize it. I'm not immediately aware of whether that's been done. You don't like this or you don't like the big mask room, Sarah? It's very... It's very something. You've seen Zardoz twice? That's so wild to me, Demolition. Only because I assume that... Myself and the people who watched Zardoz are the only people under the age of, like, I don't know, like, 50 or 60 who've ever seen it. I love, too, the bizarre revelation that the movie makes out of, like, understanding the title Zardoz. Like, I don't know, like, what all... I don't know, like, what all happened to make this movie, but it is wild. You love old movies. That's fine. So, uh... Last weekend, I was going through HBO Max. I was trying to find uh, Our Flag is Death so I could, like, watch the season that came out earlier this year, which ultimately I did, but, like, the new updated interface sucks so bad that it became a struggle, and instead, I happened upon their suggestion for holiday movies and ended up watching a couple, like, uh, sort of classic black-and-white Christmas movies I'd never seen before, which were both pretty good. Uh, one is called Shop Around the Corner, which is sort of infamous for being, like, the the basis of the plot for You Got Mail. And the other one I watched is called Holiday Affair, which I think is notable because the writing feels, like, way ahead of his time. Like, there's, there's, like, some behavioral analysis of the way one of the characters acts that's, like, I do not feel like a person of that time frame typically thought that way about stuff. Um, but like uh, those were both fun. So if you're if you're into old movies and you're looking for a holiday movie, I recommend both of those. Those were very good. All right, so this does end up working the way I thought it did, which is all cool and stuff. So I got I got a greetings, and the middle ring doesn't move, so outer ring goes here. This is actually just kind of a cool puzzle, just like in its own right. Just this like interlocking rings. And, like, there's one fixed point so that there is a correct solution. And so you don't just have to interdependently rotate everything. It's, like, basic, but it's, it's cool. It's, it's along the lines of things that have happened many times in this game. But uh, just worth pointing out. So open fear. 
Not, not greetings. Well, I mean, hmm. oh, not, not there. So this one means. No, have I fixed this one? Yeah, that's the whole point. I fixed that one. So that suggests that. Oh no, I haven't fixed this one. That'd be the problem. Yar yar, fiddle dee dee. Uh. Oh, oh, open, open. Wait, no, that means this one has to go because I've already fixed the bottom ring. Okay, that was all I needed to do. Not wait, plural greetings, open, fear. There's such a weird one. I feel like fear has had like a single use in this game, technically two, but one of them was just to establish the symbol existed. Okay, so I did that. Do these doors open? I guess they do. So I looked at the peephole and learned one word. I don't have this key. Uh, I've mostly been exploring the air quotes left side of things, so I guess I'll keep doing that. Oh no, it's just, this is just symbol. It's just to take a closer look at the symbol. But what's weird about that is I'm not totally sure what the implication of that is here. Does that just suggest that anyone who's not all the way up at the tip top is in exile and all those people just live here in cool Matrix computers where they maybe live as batteries forever? I still have questions about the nature of my own character. I do... I think the game does a really good job of making you sort of forget that oh my god they're, they're literally playing video games like i thought it was kind of teasing but like look they're just playing video games i like that they, you would think that the symbol for exile is like a bad thing but there's all these like cool neon adorned exile things like maybe it's just a life choice i don't know some people are like hashtag gamers oh, hang on 404, gateway not found. Oh, I have to translate. Oh, ooh. I don't think I have key. I have door and... I guess the second one would be open, right? Like, one of the other languages has a word for key, so there's probably one here. Let's keep goofing around. It's interesting that the password is just, like, knowing what words mean. Oh, cool, I found another yellow terminal. Uh-huh. Okay, so let's look. Let's start at the beginning. I need to link me. Ah, oh, there's key. I want that. Me. So me has to go to the only center symbol that I have. And now that I have some grounding there, talk should go here. And... That tracks, I think. Uh, okay, hold on. Pretty sure that one's man, so that should go there. So let me talk. I think this this one is key, right? Kind of looks like a key. All right, I did it. Tran translate. Hi, Miss Tosi. I'm doing pretty good. I'm playing Chance of Sonar. Talking about Christmas movies and video games and things. It's a good time. How are you doing? Also, after yesterday's stream, I, I looked up the, uh, I, I, I looked up what I think is a list of all the emotes that they added for the, the limited holiday, uh, hype trains. I kind of think, because everyone who was in chat got the, oh dear, which is like a reindeer standing in front of some fire. Kind of like, uh, everything's okay. Uh, I feel like that's the coolest one. I think we got lucky there. So, me is down arrow what was up arrow wasn't it like something kind of persony like oh maybe it's me you 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 me In vaguely interesting make create is like part of a kite with half an arrow on it man human is a straight line and a uh, stick figure h seek is x with uh, an, a little bit of extra foot Key, well, that's just a key is what that is. It has a little extra line for some reason. 
for deck for decoration maybe and talk is i don't know kind of like you doing a doing a little hand thing yeah i'm not getting like a super good read on the like syntax of the language which is an interesting choice i think i like that it may make something difficult for me in the future though more exiles these are not the same ones I talked to before, right? Hey, buddy. Me, me blank blank. Me blank tower. It'd be like, miss or want. I gotta tell you that the far right character in the top line of his dialogue looks kind of like a stick figure holding a gun like a first person shooter. So because we've established that they're all gamers, I feel like this could be like, me want to play first person shooter me want to go to tower or something well i got that symbol i came from did i come from stairs or bridge i think i came from bridge right yes maybe i came from now maybe I came from stairs and I just recognized both of those locations. Yes, I came from stairs and that's just an intuitive place for that to go. Okay, so then where does this go? M more exiles. I think these are also new exiles. I think? Yeah, this should be. Because the other one had the row at the bottom, which I'm not seeing here. What you up to, buddy? Go away. I... Hate you? It's not fear. Based on the fact he wants me to go away, it doesn't seem like a positive emotion. But I think that's the same word the other person was saying as, like, their reaction to the tower and first-person shooter. I don't think we've had hate in any form in this game which is kind of interesting especially since on some level it's kind of about how a breakdown in communication isolates people or makes um relationship between different peoples difficult okay so now we're back to here now let's take a look at this mural now that we've like learned several words reading blank readings blank tower Something people exile, people tower people exile. So the the white and purple parts of this mural live here, but after the fact, someone like spray painted like pink stuff on it, which is um, blood from the the game Rain Code, is probably what that is. people exile M many people bad people i don't know kind of depends on perspective i think do i know anything more about what this first guy was saying it's kind of what i was working my way back to i guess i can go open that door on the other side tower martini glass with hands go away guess that guy doesn't like me either i kind of thought he was saying hi before <laughs> Let's go back to that door that I think might currently be the only thing I could do. It's kind of fun that it's raining here, but I think that's just my bias that I think rain is neat. So I need to go down the stairs, I think. Yeah, this is the this is the thing I'm thinking of. Okay, so key is key. I think that unlock is meant to be open, which I have somewhere, but I don't remember what that looks like. And then the last one should be door, which I also don't know what it looks like. This place is definitely con I word. You're right, it is perpetually raining. There's a lot of neon. There's heavy purple influence. And people be writing stuff in blood. Pink blood. kind of cool in here 
It's very spacey in here. That man has a tiny fence. Greetings. You're the one I was waiting for. Shubop, shubop, bop. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And they are rude. And they are rude. You're not wrong. This place is very con I ward adjacent. Ooh, pardon me. I think I have to sneeze. That's fun. Here's standby while I blow my nose so I can continue the stream. Ugh, unpleasant, but we're here now. Thank you. Thank you, chat. Uh, I guess I'll just push some buttons. Neat. The heck? Mm. This is going to be a challenge. So, it seems like what we're trying to do is use different symbols that project in a certain way to make a bigger symbol and the bigger symbol is meant to replicate whatever the image is at the bottom not like a million percent sure i mean i guess it's just oh no is that enter i thought maybe that was random the the it kind of looks like a refresh symbol so i need upgrade Hmm, that's a pretty small symbol. I don't know what to do about that. It's a... It's like a staple. It's an angly staple. Oh. This works different than I thought it did. Wait a minute. But... I'm confused because the there's like a grayed out symbol in the middle row that looks like oh if I combine these it's go up as a very specific kind of symbol I mean I guess I can just try to replicate the middle symbol if that's what it wants so this is door, and is this other thing plural? So yeah, multiple doors. Okay, I guess that's fair. And this is not, this is not me. Yeah, that feels like a word I expect from this language that has like exile prominently featured everywhere. Go up many doors, not me. And then go me is like, come here. I mean, yeah, I guess that's fair enough. Climb doors, stranger come. Ah, now I have to do it myself. That's fun. That's a fun little thing. There's like one page of tutorial and then they're like, all right, idiot, figure it out. So like, I mean, one would think Dead probably goes here, and dead probably goes here. Because on the left, it looks like this person has died. And on the right, it looks like they have come back to life. So, like, not dead. And then this middle thing seems like it's not something. But then I also have go three times. So I have to assume, like, become dead. Don't pass or stay away or something and then like go not die which kind of looks like a little bow i mean go feels like it's used a little generously but sure go not die seems fine but what's weird is i oh i guess it's making the distinction between dead and die, which they are different words, but the way this game has functioned so far, that feels a little odd to me. And then are these like the last words in the game or something? I feel like we've very rapidly picked stuff up here. Um, huh.
I gotta say, my instinct says that this one is just not seek. Which I think makes sense, because I think that's the symbol that people were using in terms of, like, tower and, like, something about not wanting to talk to me. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if more of this section was this, but I guess it's hard to do that because in order to make this game possible, they kind of have to give you a bunch of base words. So me feels like it's going to fit in here. And then I guess the gesture here sort of implies all, all of us, which is sort of many me. So, so like many me, legally distinct from mini me. And that does specifically resemble a symbol that we haven't translated yet. So that's a positive sign. Um, hmm. Plural. I mean, I guess like plural people is sort of like many different like, different types of people. And then I I would guess that this goes here? Peoples, us, we, disregard my people. You completed the translate of the Anchorites language. And we have completed all of the glyphs forever. Hello, I understand all language. My brain is very big. I like how he had us go through all that so he could tell us to follow him. That's my head canon is that like we probably knew enough to get done what we needed to do, but he's like, I can't be bothered to explain the concept of follow me. I am filled with language. You can't tell because of the hood, but my head, my brain is so big. This is my chamber pot. My people built the tower. I like that I'm like not listening to him or looking at the display. I'm just kind of like looking around. It's nice in here. What's this place cost? <sighs> Foreign peoples came to the tower. <laughs> we are racist. <laughs> Peoples stopped talking. Peoples feared peoples. There's no word for other, huh? I, before I read this, my interpretation of this in the context is that as a society, they've decided to punish people with bad video game design um, in a twist something akin to Mystery Science Theater 3000. My people left in exile. We are dying. The tower is dying. In what way do you mean that, though? The tower doesn't seem to, like, literally be alive. Hey, I came out of one of those. Wait, was I one of these masked folks the whole time? I created you. You're the key. Help us. I kind of thought he just wasn't going to give us any further instruction. Make the peoples talk. Open the doors. End exile. Revive the tower. That is cool. I actually, you know what? Now that I have some more context for this, I think it's actually really cool that the top area of the tower isn't focused on learning the language. It's a means to get you to do the end game thing of spreading happiness across the face time continuum and opening all the doors, which are things I kind of like naturally want to do because I want to complete the game. But I like that it sort of puts a point on it that like, nah, you should do all that. We like put that stuff in the game and we think it'll be fun. Now the question is like, do you have some kind of cipher to help me build all the keys I need? Oh yeah, something like this. Do you have something like this for me? Oh, does that just do all of them maybe? Does that just open the weird doors? Uh, anything else I can pick up? Th 
This is just repeat conversation, right? There's not anything new here? Yeah, okay. I will say, I do think the idea is cool that they use... It's the the language up here in the Anchorite territory. It's like a little like kanji, as I understand it, where you just sort of like layer symbols on top of each other. And like the combination of the, the individual symbols has like joined meaning. I mean, I may, I may be wrong about that, but that's kind of my impression of how that sort of thing works. So... I do kind of want to go back to the mural. It's not like a particularly good use of my time, but I just kind of want to see what the mural says. And then I got to go back to the upstairs FaceTime machine. We welcome the peoples of the tower. Interesting. We are the people of exile. Interesting. I'm not sure I st still yet fully grasp the meaning of all that. And what were you saying that you didn't like me? I think he was just saying, like, I'm ignoring you. <laughs> the tower is dying. Go away. <laughs> now, when he says the tower is dying, does he mean that, like, they're running out of power to play video games? I mean, that's basically, like, Society is dying. So does this guy have a friend now? He still doesn't. Um. Oh, it's telling me where the doors are. That was going to be a real struggle for me. Thanks, game. I appreciate at you. Uh, okay. So let's go. I started from the bottom. Now I'm here. Now are all the doors close to a thing? Oh, it, like, reacts. That's fun. That's fun. I mean, like, one or two of them, I think I immediately remember where they are. I definitely don't remember where the ground floor one is. I know I saw one here. Somewhere. Got a little Geiger counter for magic doors. Well, that's colder, clearly. Scoot with all of your might. Maybe this sign will help me to remember where I might want to go. Garden Cemetery. I'm trying to remember if there was anything like that in the church. I don't think so. It is reacting pretty hard, though. I think it's reacting less when I'm inside, so that suggests... Yeah, that's definitely a little quicker, right? Well, I gotta be pretty close now. That's fun. I like this. I like that you can have an advantage by just remembering it, but if you don't, it's kind of its own little game, as opposed to just being like a task or a chore or like the expectation that you will wander around everywhere. It's neat. That's slower, isn't it? That's definitely slower. Oh wait, is there another door here that I'm supposed to go through? No? I came from there. Hey, have you guys seen a weird cursed door? Uh-huh. Thanks, buddy. I mean, this isn't what the doors look like, and it doesn't do anything. Uh, I feel like I'm too dumb for this. Like, it's definitely less happy here. I guess for the sake of... 
making sure I understand correctly, it should be even unhappier here. That seems correct. Hmm. I think I may re I might have realized what I'm doing wrong. You just there's nothing in that back corner, right? It's like kind of hidden. Oh. No, that's it. I never found this. That's why this doesn't feel familiar. I kind of thought for a second that I would have to go back to that underground passage where we found the dead speaker, preacher, priest. Oh, hi. Uh, cool. Can't have any instruments or potions. And I can't put on that fun devotee outfit. So everyone is like a lanky mask person under their clothes. Fun fact, I have a skeleton inside of me. Uh, uh, interesting notion. Greetings. I like the notion that you could just, like, say random stuff to this guy. I mean, I gotta assume potion is one of these words, but, like, what do I want to, like, tell this guy? Make create love. Make create love potion. You make create love potion. No? I, I really thought that was it. Open door close greetings. You help. Help? Maybe help? Dead plant. Go past. Do I know where this guy is? I mean, this should be a camera feed to somewhere, right? Hang on a second. This isn't by that potion shop that I've wanted to be open the whole game, is it? The key stops reacting, so I hope that you remembered where we parked. I think if I just keep going down not great, then I eventually get to that place to maybe find that guy. Uh, if it's not clear what I'm doing, it is my hope that if I see this guy out in the wild, he might tell me exactly what he's trying to do so I can give him advice. Oh, he's not there. And he's not here. And he's not this guy. Oh, they're making little boats. Were they always making little boats? Look at them make little boats. I don't remember that. It's fun. Ah, jeez. Um... I'd rather do try and find this guy who maybe doesn't exist in the overworld or haphazardly try to just tell that man to do things once they meet they do oh it is cute we definitely brought good into this world in the form of tiny boats for some reason it makes me think of um, that, like, Pleasure Island area in Florida around Disney World. I, I don't know what the current state of that is. It's been a long time since I was there. But, like, there's areas around there where you just, like, you pay a small amount of money and you get to do, like, a remote-controlled car or a remote-controlled boat for a few minutes. It's fun. It's not a good use of money, but it's very fun. Little boats. All right, I guess I'm just going to say some random stuff to that guy for a minute and maybe get some inspiration. Let's hope. It's a little interesting to me the way the inventory system in this game works. Like, I get if I press X, I can see it. And I get that you want to see your inventory. But you so rarely have, like, more than one inventory item at all. So it's kind of interesting that it, like, feels the need to condense it that much. I feel like you could very easily have that bar just, like, reach across a little and show me all the items. I may still want a close-up on them, though. 
Oh, yes, buddy, welcome to the stream. Uh, I have to solve all the language puzzles. How are you doing? So I found this little space room, and there's like a weird little guy hunched over looking at some potions. I mean, we could literally ask him if he wants a potion, but I feel like he wants a potion. I don't remember what you is. You want upgrade potion? You want... This is what I was kind of looking for this guy. Is like, if I knew what his goal was, I could probably figure out what sentence I want to say to him. Talk, open, door, your name is... He look free, find Abby, beat, music. I think I should find this guy. I'm not talking to him? I mean, it looks like I'm talking to him. Also, shh, 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 shh. I don't mind suggestions from people who don't know the game, but if you know the game, then it's just like automatically a spoiler. Shh. <laughs> it's a symbol for devotee. I don't remember. It's this one. MOT seek one. Potion potion? Want want find potion? MOT want find potion the pro the, the problem such as it is is it's it's hard for me to remember all the syntax for every language so like these puzzles sort of out of context from when you learn the language become more difficult over time even if they're not inherently all that hard Greetings. You find potion? Hey, baby, wanna kill all humans with me? OT. Find potions. Devotee not fine potion. Devotee find not potion. Okay, well, I've decided I should start somewhere else. <laughs> I feel like maybe a language I've done more recently might be a better place to start. Someone became alarmed by myself coming onto the screen there, just because there's, like, no people around. I was like, why is there a person there? Uh, tell you what, let's go to Bardland, because I know where that door is. That shouldn't take very long. Bard Country, hold on. Devotee Warrior Bard. I think? I think this will be Bard? So it's, like, right down these stairs or something? It's like really close to here. No, wait. No, the barred one's in the sewers. I'm thinking of... I'm thinking of the science one, I guess. Wait, this position is actually close? Shouldn't it not be? 
No, because the purple door was close to the theater. That's true. That is true. Uh, maybe it's just up. Left. Pur purple, purple door. Pur 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 purp it up. This compass is in my way. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, it's Barty in here. There's some accoutrement, a compass, lots of, like, art and sculpting and musical instruments and whatnot. Um... Uh, multiple... Pe people... People multiple. Bard multiple? Yeah, they're bard people. Bard, plural. Go. Is there an up? Do you have an up? Do you have an upgrade? Ascent. No, that's not it. Ascend. Bard, people. Ascend. Stairs or tower or pliers? Could be pliers. Only one language has idiot. Or comedy. Agora? Remind me what specifically Agora is. The gazebo. Is that what I'm looking at? No. Theater? It kind of looks like the entrance to the theater, I think. I don't remember how language works. The trick here is that I, I just... I want a clearer prompt is all. Like, this is, this is, I feel like a clue like this would be fine to help understand language when you already have other context. But, like, it's just tough to know exactly what sentence they want from something as broad as, like, people moving in a direction in a still image. I mean, it feels like the subject of the sentence is multiple people who are from this floor, which makes them bard. Bards are the art people who live here. And I think they're going to the theater. Bard people just like go, go, go theater, go, go gadget theater. Go, there was somewhere over, nope, somewhere. Maybe it's like... It's gotta be like generic people, right? Do they not have generic people? Do they only have... This... Actually, this language may not have generic people. Okay. Man... Plural... Where was go? Go... Theater. Theater bard go yeah like maybe it's tough because like theater theater bards go oh theater bards go oh they're Yoda people that's right they're Yoda people uh hi jigsaw didn't expect to see you there nah no talk no sign no explanation okay. Dude, this is some Code Lyoko stuff right now. Hello. I am Exile. Oh, crap. He's not Allied Master Computer, right? I have not heard good things about that game. Uh, 
This game gives you a dyslexic brain a bleed. Listen, this game is tough. Come to me. Come into exile. Um, I'm not sure I should uh, do that. Can I unplug? Oh, that, that does appear to be what I've done. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye, Allied Master Computer. Please stop torturing people for eternity. Oh, hi. Hello. I guess it makes sense that if I unplug it here, the guy who was here is immediately unplugged. I was wondering if I went back up to the top floor, if I would see, like, groups of people start to become unexiled. I will help you and end exile. I will speak to peoples. Oh. 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 I really did have like three revelations in that span of like 40 seconds. All right, let's go somewhere else. Hey, Echo, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Hey, you know what I did? I remembered to move the alert box so it didn't directly cover my face that I didn't notice for many previous chances in our streams. Uh, thanks once again to Devolution for what has now been a full year of subs to Neko. It's, it's the it's the last one. Congratulations, everyone. We did it. And thank you for resubbing. Listen, I'm not here to tell anyone your business, but we got holiday hype trains available. This is this is not an indication that you should do that. I just think it's fun. Um. So I opened that door, but I'm too stupid to do anything there. Let's go to the science one. I think it's like this way. And then, yeah, just like down these stairs, because I accidentally went here like a million times. Boop, beep. Got a Minecraft pickaxe, got a funny hat, got some stills, Horatio's down there. I knew him well. One, two, three, four, five, six, six book plural. Six book, don't remember plural. Plural goes after the thing. Six book plural? That one was so much easier than all of the other ones. It's not close. And this, uh, this is the language I, like, have a better recollection of. Why you do this? Give me an easy one on the first floor. Oh, I have to stealth here. Can I mention to you that I don't want to? I mean, it's pretty fair of them to incorporate this mechanic into the game and all. I just would rather not, to be honest with you. Nope, that was... no. My brain was like, if I wait for him to turn around, it will obviously be bad. And that somehow got realized as, why don't you jump and immediately die? And I was like, cool. Good plan. Good plan, me. Proud of me. Fond of the Concerned Snowman. The Concerned Snowman is good. I don't remember his actual origin. He's not... He's not... Uh, oh, right, that'll happen too. Got it, got it, got it. Sorry, I really wasn't paying attention to that. I didn't really think that through. So I think what I have to do is, like, follow really closely. Nope. No, that doesn't work. I have to find a way to... No, that's not it. You just get shot to death. Hold on. He just sweeps so far. I mean, like, if I get... Okay, no, I think I got it. I think I got it. I've been wrong, like, eight times. Because I'm really not thinking this through. I don't know if I've mentioned this, like, several times, but I don't happen to... Oh, my God, the controls. I know what I want to do, but the controls are not... Okay. That would have worked if the game... Wait, what? That's not going to work either. I'm dead. Yeah, just electrocute me. Uh, I don't know if you could tell, I was trying, there's like a, there's a spot 
where I can like hop to the other side of that square, but the game was like, for whatever reason, the control was like, nah, you want to go up or down from that? I was like, no, I would like exactly that. And it's like, nah, the hitbox on that is very small. You can't do that. I've decided. If if it had if that had worked the way I was trying to input it, it would have been fine. Nope, that was too early. Nope, that is fine, apparently. Oh my god, why? why? I cut that a little close, but I think you have to. What? How did that not work? There's like no way to do it. What are you talking about? That seems like that is realistically the only way to do that. I think he'll electrocute me here. Oh no, okay. Well, I wouldn't expect that to work, but here we are. If I thought that would work, that might have factored into my plan. Are you afraid to die? I will help you. The people of exile do not die. Your sales pitch is unsettling. Also, um, Vivia Twilight would never. Uh, hey, Arcadius, welcome. Welcome to the stream. It says it was her brother's birthday yesterday. Uh, you spent a bunch of time with him and got him the Dwarf Romantic board game. Well, that's fun. You're going to make him several tiny trains and boats for it. That's really good. What are you making him out of? Sentries never look left or right. Nah, in this game, they do. I've definitely been electrocuted by staying directly next to that guy, for sure. By the way, I'm just gonna unplug this. Are you afraid to die? So sad. What's weird about that is that doesn't look like that turns him off. Oh, interesting. I didn't really put together that when inert, he would look like those things at the top of the screen there. Hey buddy, how you doing? You help my people. My people will help the tower. We will speak to peoples. It's not that Sarah says, Exile seems like too much work. Vivia Twilight. I think the bigger problem is that he hopes to die someday. And if he goes to exile, they just said that he wouldn't die. So, like, he would hate that. If you're somehow watching this in a vacuum of my other content or playing the game... Uh, Master Detective Archives, colon, Brain Code. And there's a weird character in that whose catchphrase is, I hope to die someday. And that's who we're talking about. Um, okay. I, don't, I guess I'll, I guess I'll try the, I guess I'll try this one again. Tried the, you finished the new God of War DLC? I heard about that. Isn't it kind of like a big update that like nobody was expecting? It's pretty wild. This one's, this is gonna be the struggle for sure. He says that not having looked at the warrior one at all, which might be terrible. Beep. You're gonna use polymer clay, but you're lying a little bit because you wanted an excuse to get it. Because you have an interest in making tiny, hyper-detailed food. Interesting. Are you trying to make, like, a little, like... Custom dollhouse situation or something like that? Interesting. Conclusion to the Norse Pantheon story. It does seem like that came out of nowhere. Alright, so, like, this is one dude... Wait a minute. Is he... The speaker? Uh, I have to have that in my book, right? Dude, dude. Yeah, devotees have, like, a semicircle, or sometimes a triangle. But that guy's the- he's the preacher, dang it! Okay. So then, uh, that's the- is that one. Oh, my brain is not interpreting this. I know that this is talk. And I need a little L with that next to it. Where is that? I found it. So, like, Preacher... Uh, 
Looks wants potions. Reacher. Wants to find potion? I'm missing something here. Does he love potion? Or is he just saying that? Who's you help? Creature, not fine. Potion. Creature. Want love potion. Want plant potion. He he was trying to save the plants, yeah. True. Want. I will say that uh plant is the little where is that? Plant potion? Uh hmm. Just the very fact that, like, Preacher factors into a puzzle here feels like there's, like, a weird amount of self-awareness in this puzzle. The other one was at least kind of abstract of, like, people go to established building. Preacher... What? Preacher want great potion. Preacher love great potion. It's hard for me to tell if he's looking for or finding or wants, which makes it a lot harder to like. I mean, it, it doesn't feel like fine to me because fine, like in my mind, and I might be wrong about this, but if this wanted to convey find to me, it would have him either like pointing to or lifting up like a specific one that kind of feels more to me like he is searching like it is not a complete task. And potion. Oh, there is a word for store. But I don't actually know if this is the potion store. Maybe Preacher, like, goes to potion store? It's like hit the title of his Always Sunny in Philadelphia episode. What is the word for store? It's in here somewhere. I also don't remember if potion goes before or at. Oh, no, wait. It would need to it would need to have a place box, right? Or no. Cause like there was a How did those signs look? I don't remember. There was like just that little courtyard, the one where they're making the boats. I'm just gonna say now that I'm really working under the assumption that this is one of those ones that, like, in hindsight, I'm gonna be like, you could have made that clearer. Like, upgrade and some of the other weird doodles. I do wish that this wasn't basically the opposite side of this area. Their signs are just multiple. Just multiple of the thing. So they don't have a word for store. Sorry, we're gonna look at the boats again. Little boats, very nice. Oh my God, does that mean that this culture can play Pirates of the Spanish Main now? That's my new headcanon, is that by bringing everyone together, they can play my favorite game of the early 2000s that no one will play with me. I miss when it had an online client, but it was also one of the worst pieces of software that's ever been written. I feel like I tried... No, I tried, like, Devotee wants Potion Potion. It's true that I probably have not tried Preacher want many Potion. Preacher... Want... 
potions. Maybe preacher fine. Fine potions. Preacher Go goes goes to potions. There's no sense of capitalism in this culture, so he can't buy it. Preacher love potions. Doesn't look like he's making, but we could try that. I mean, Preacher sees potions. Alright, well, I guess that's fair. Hey, you know what my feeling is after doing that? That could have been clearer. I feel like we could have used, like, a... I don't know. That just could have been clearer. Ah, <laughs> more stealth. I didn't ask for this. Uh, I hate it here. Oh, and they like rotate. Oh, and they do that too, huh? Well, I don't like that. Upgrade. That is upgrade if you really think about it. Nope, I'm gonna die here. Nope, that's totally fine, I guess. Right. Line of sight is endless because we're playing Spider-Man Noir. Listen, I know I'm biased against it. I really don't think that the stealth adds anything to this game. I mean, there's a couple sections where it's not egregious, but, like, this isn't doing it for me. This is not upgrade. This, this is down bad. Is down terrible more accurate? Come on. Come on. Hey. It doesn't seem like I can go up. It seems like it really wants me to go on this lower path in some combination. I think it's supposed to make it easier to get through here. It doesn't, though. I just don't get it. I mean, look how close I get to that. It seems really annoying. Oh, again, I just have to rely on the fact that, like, they don't have any peripheral vision except if they really want to, but they have, like, endless linear vision. It's just, it's just not my bag, baby. Don't stop me. I help the people. Whoops, I accidentally tripped on your life force. Goodbye. Of course, when you shut down Xana's supercomputer, you can't return to the past anymore. You helped me. I will help the tower. I will speak to peoples. That's what the last guy said. Interesting That's that that's replayable. I guess, maybe strictly speaking, you don't have to have the entire language understood in order to get here, so maybe you want that as context. Well, one more of those. And then I haven't really bothered to check if there's some way that I can connect the people to the people. Oh, take that as it comes. Actually, you know what? Before we do the last one, I want to go back up to the top. I want to see if anything's gradually changing up there. And by that, I, of course, mean that we have done like three-fourths of what we came here to do. 
So if it changed... Nah, that feels like a pretty good cross-section if this hasn't changed. I mean, maybe I could go like... Over here and see if people on the opposite side have moved. But if neither of those screens have changed, I feel like we're safe to assume that like... Yeah. But I could talk to this guy. I haven't heard what unpleasant thing he wanted to say to me. I don't care about strangers. I don't care about the tower. I want to play first-person shooters. I want to play Baldur's Gate until I've gotten every achievement in it. I don't actually have any concept of how long that would take or how many achievements that game has. Oh, uh, he's just kind of doing that for me, huh? All right, well, I guess that's good to know. It does seem like we're dangerously close to completing some sort of shape there. So let's go to Warrior Town. I don't remember where the purple door is. I'm not entirely sure that I found it. Hey, you let me go through the front door now. We're friends. Right? I think this was like a stealth thing before. Or like a stealth warning. I'm gonna guess it's like pretty close to here. I do actually think I found it. Nah, the other one. Maybe the other one. Well, then wasn't that like the rotation thing? Was there also a door in there? No. Which sort of leaves us with... Either... Is this a... Is this a door? No. Well, I guess then... We'll call them poplars. Nope. Okay. Uh... Question. This, there's no door in this direction. And I'm assuming that if I go through here, it will become less eager. Yes. So, in some fashion, it's really seems like it must be immediately adjacent to this room, which is sort of what I had figured. I just am stupid. Oh, is this also a door? Well, yeah, that'll do it. There's another lizard. That's a pretty big, close lizard. For those of you keeping track at home. P put it in. Like this is honestly, I believe you get all the achievements for Baldur's Gate 3 long before you get them for Binding of Isaac. You'll be collecting those achievements until the end of time. Basically, like, any time they update Binding of Isaac, they add more achievements, right? Isn't that something? What the heck's happening over here? Scientists unreadable. Thanks. Thank you for that. Probably course, but what? Wait, what? The heck? I tried to, like, go down to see if I could look at this, and it, like, sent me straight out of the room. Wait. Go pass. Help make create seek one. That's cute. He's translating from Anchorite to Warrior. Because he's meant to talk to them, I guess. Alright, good luck to me. <laughs> I saw a really funny tweet this week. I thought it was really funny. Uh, someone said that the... The... Wikipedia entry for Ship of Theseus had been edited like some number of like thousands of times and some analysis was done to demonstrate that like none of the original content in the Ship of Theseus Wikipedia page was from its original entry. And I'm like, I'm not even sure if that's true, but it's very funny. It's very like Uchikoshi funny. Like I feel like Uchikoshi would love that joke. He's all into that sort of thing, from all the Zero Escape games and whatnot. Alright, looks like warriors love boat. Pl plural warriors love boat. I don't remember if plural goes before or after warrior. Plural warrior... Carry possess is their version of this, right? They carry... Vessel. One. One shot. 
I, I, I truly do feel as though Speaker sees potions as the worst one by a huge margin. I'm under the impression that Allied Master Computer does not like me. Also, this looks heinous. I don't even know, man. Nope, dead. All right, for some reason, I wasn't actually paying attention. I just kind of figured that person wouldn't like go up two feet and then immediately stop scanning. So what does that leave me with? Oh, I really, I really just hate this. This is just not my bag, baby. I don't think this will work either. Nope. Ah, geez. Ooh, I have a proposal. Could we not? How do we feel about that? Go, 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 go. It's really annoying because I swear early on I got shot by someone spotting me in their peripheral vision. And since then I've needed to know that that's not true multiple times. So I feel like I was misled by something I learned early, which has made this even more difficult than it needs to be. And I'll point out for the record that it doesn't need to be difficult. It just chooses to be. Chill out, my guy. You're a stranger. You're not my people. I will stop you. I mean, it's a little little on the nose about how xenophobia caused all this, but yeah, sure, that's fine. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye forever. Man, people upstairs are going to be so pissed. There's going to be no video games when we get back up there. I, you know what? I bet this guy's going to be like, you helped me. I will help the tower. I will talk to peoples. What do you, what do you think? Greetings. You ended my exile. My people will revive the tower. Oh, okay. You got something else to say. That's fair. We build all links in the game. We did it? So, I need to... Hi, lizard. Bye, lizard. I'm going to call that one Eddie Lizard. He lives in a special place where he doesn't run away. So, it is my assumption that I should probably talk to that guy who gave me the magical golden key. And if that individual doesn't have anything new for me, then I just go to the big golden door at Cutscene Mountain and see where it leads. I could go straight to the door, but I feel like it would be rude not to at least check in with Magic Key Haver. Although this person may already just have gone to the mall today. Yep, think they did. Fair enough. As I said, it just would have been rude to ignore their existence if they wanted to chat about what all I did. Now, when that person said that they made me, still a little unclear. Oh, nope, they still have video games up here. That's pretty weird. I, uh, oh, maybe there's like a big switch for all the people up here because there's like way more exile up here. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with turning Zardoz off. Unless the switch does that. But Zardoz is still on. Oh, I also... Yeah, that's right. That's true. I do... There is one of these here. 
It just doesn't require me to, like, translate anything to an Anchorite or whatever. Oh, well, that seems bad. Return to the past. Okay, no, I got hit by lightning again. That Okay, in fairness, that one wasn't my fault. Oh, no, I bet they took my compass. Was I a digital person the whole time? Did someone jump on my head and cause my camera to glitch out? It's very dreary here. Edgar Allan Poe would love it. A lot of walking. What's this exile thing about? It's something that this culture at the top of the tower has going on. They seem to be the people who built the tower and, like, invited people to come hang out. But then, like, people weren't getting along and they stopped talking to each other. And then, like, something, something, they put people into exile, which kind of just means that they play VR games all day. It's, like, slightly unclear. Ever so slightly. We might get some additional context. Like, I understand the broad strokes. I'm not, like, a million percent sure why there's so many, like, spots for people to be in exile up here or whatever. Or, like, exactly what gets you put in exile. What happens if I go down other stairs? I'm really tempted. I got time. I think we're pretty close to the end. And, uh... We'll have to see what that means for the rest of the stream tonight. But this should be... It feels as though this should be a different path, but it looks exactly the same. Yeah, I'm not totally sure how that's possible. Because I didn't enter... There's, like, something that's implied... More rain code? Do we want more rain code? Is that actually what people want? I have that other game I suggested playing when we started doing this. Uh, Cobalt Core. The, like, spaceship roguelike game. This seems kind of interesting. I sort of had that on tap for if we found a stopping place for rain code and beat this. But we didn't do that for rain code for sure. I did it. <laughs> it's literally called I did it. Get to the top. I love it. This is exactly what I would say. Uh. Uh, what? Why is it so sad? Wait, what did I not do? <laughs> I thought there'd be, like, something that happened when I pushed the button. But I just kind of, like, pushed the button and got sad forever. Oh, God. I'm having flashbacks to a certain game I don't want to spoil. Hold on. I mean, I still have my copybook in its entirety. I have to go through the tutorial to be able to see if something has changed. Did I unplug the machine? Which machine? Forgot that the lever is associated with the piece of paper. Wait, uh, something is wrong. That's, that's not, I don't think, what that's supposed to look like. I mean, I thought... 
now it has a different hitbox? Yeah, something be wrong. I think I'm in exile, everyone. I think they plugged me in. Oh, hi, hello. Okay. This is actually really clever, because, like, you just never go this way in the tutorial, right? So, like, they can just, like, hide a little bit of endgame content. Just, like, right in plain sight. That's kind of cool. Uh, uh, wait, I kind of know where this is. This is under the... It's under the, the, uh, constellation room. Okay. Oh, and they have exile symbols instead of what they're supposed to be. Yep, that's cool. Oh. There's a new... There's a new this thing. Cool. Um, so that is a replica part of the mural that I haven't memorized, but should be close by. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. The, I think what happened is I got close to, um, like finding the switch to deactivate exile forever. And the guards came out and were like, no, exile forever, and then shot me with lightning and then plugged me in. That's what I think has happened. So I think the thing I need to know is... The impures... Wait, what the heck? That's different. The impures are making music? Everything else is the same though, right? They found the tower and these are the chosen. And they built the fortress or whatever. But now, the impures are making music, but the... Wait, why would that be unreadable? Just by nature of the fact that we shouldn't also... Was there always an MC Escher staircase up there? I don't remember. Yes, I believe I'm in the Matrix, and that is more or less what the Exiles are. I was, I was not entirely sure of the nuance of... Oh, look, there's eyes down... Were there eyes down there before? Uh, but if that earlier question, Sarah, was if I went to all the places where I could use the magic key to shut off the machine, yes. I did do all of those that I'm aware of, I think. So... Plural, impure, create... There's like a sign for music, isn't there? Neat. That's cool. Oh, wait, is this the... Is this the kid who, like, showed us into the abbey? I didn't recognize them. Oh, now... God, I hate the piss water. I really hope they have good filtration up in Bard Town. Idiot you are. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, wait, you want something? I don't have anything. My pockets are empty. Whoa. If I hit right bumper on the controller, it shows me hotspots. A thing I haven't known for all the hours I've been playing this game. Do I have to go down? What could I give that guy? It has puzzle piece, so he needs something. The eyes are just enjoying the Escher stairs. That seems fair. They're pretty cool. Can I go in the other door? No, you mean the one in Bard Town? It appeared to be blocked off. I'll check it again when I go back there. I kind of want to see what the bounds are here because the other guy wants me to give him something. But I am pretty sure I can't go in that other door that was down the stairs from where the guy was asking for stuff. Ah, oh, that's upsetting. Well, it sucks to be me. 
Interesting. That seems like a pretty strong signifier that I am not meant to go any further in that direction. And since I can't pick up the torch, that doesn't leave me many options. So I guess the next thing we'll try is going down those stairs, but I was pretty sure it gave me the indicator that that doesn't work. I mean, this is... Yeah, that doesn't work. Uh, can I just walk past him? Is that cool? Am I overthinking this? I am! Whoops. Oh, hang on. There's something in the piss fountain? Groot coin! You can exchange Groot coin for Groot goods and Groot services. Did you... Sorry. Did you want this? I don't like you. You are a monster. You are a monster. You are a monster. Yeah, so some vestige of the exile machine is still clearly on, and I've been plugged into the exile machine, and it has expressed its distaste for me. Oh, hey, buddy. Almost didn't see you down there. <laughs> I'm free! Uh, okay. You go up. Sure, I go up. I upgrade. I up very well. Hmm, I'm glad to have his help there because the stairs look a little out of order, to be honest with you. Oh, cool, it's a graveyard in here, and that's not unsettling. Oh, good, another play! And those people are wearing masks that say exile on them. Well, some of them are. That guy looks like he's Buddy the Elf. He's got, like, a conical green and yellow striped hat. Saw. Sure, you bet. Instrument. Yep. Yep, yep. Fire. Yeah, I mean, this is the same play, just with, like, less Greek chorus, right? Compass. And then the last one has my face on it with an X through it. I mean, before they were saying stuff out loud. Okay, hi, hello. Well, they're, they're friends. They give each other big hug. I books. Well, the book telling me how to go through the maze is not there. What's back here? And readable bard found the idiot bard found the path. Hold on. Instrument, north. Saw, west. West. It's, it's different though, huh? No, it's not different. It's just oriented differently. But I also don't have a compass anymore. It's a little Escher in here, too, to be honest with you. That's fine, though, because the FaceTime machine is here. Yeah, that seems good and normal. Um, 
so this the doors are open so it looks like that's the end of the updated play which means bard find scientist bard find Brother? Maybe brother? Bard find free brother! Uh... That wouldn't be the conjugation. It would also be... Brother, bard, something, find something. Maybe like... Maybe something like brother, plural, bard... Fine, even though that's not exactly what we saw. We saw one guy. It's fine. Fine. Uh. Fine, like open door. It could be open door. Idi Id idiot board, fine, brother. You know what? That is actually. That could be it. Uh. Brother. Idiot. Bard. Fine. Yeah, because it, it's like the end of the story. So he's like proper noun idiot bard. I'm shocked to learn that God's favorite door is once again shut. Well, that's not great. So that is going to be one of the murals in the other room. And I will probably need to seek the one that has a glitch on it. That one seems fine. That one is the same as before, I think. I think that is also the same. Hmm, there's a lot of these murals, huh? What about this one, though? Well, that's rude. I kind of wanted to read that. It had unreadable, but not glitching. Unreadable just means that, like, a symbol is missing. Well, it's good of them to block that progress, I guess. Can this be... Wait a minute. Oh, no. Wait, that's the plural symbol from the scientists. What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh. Ah, oh, crumbs. Uh, scientists making multiple po no mul multiple scientists making potion I need an I need probably another clue I mean I could brute force it maybe is there something on the floor here no there's something on the floor somewhere else that I passed 
I couldn't pick up the rock I looked at before to, like, place it in there, I don't think. Can I now that I've, like, found it? No. I believe that is a plural after scientists, is my guess. Hmm. Hmm. Well, on the bright side, that's gotta be the one that I have to interpret. On the other hand... Not great. Is there something here? Yeah, I can go all the way there, but it doesn't do anything. I don't really see anything that makes it seem worthwhile to mess with the levers. But they do appear to work, at least in theory. Just want to check the floor in here. Actually, wait, on this wall, now that I've seen stuff, will it let me, like, mind palace place things? No, it will not. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Multiple. I mean, maybe it's simply multiple scientists make potion or something? Uh, I didn't notice that this was bricked off. That's kind of cute in a weird way. Anything over here? Exile. Yeah, visual calculus. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, well, I have some idea of what I need to put together. Um. Science. Science guy was somewhere pretty close to. Multiple scientists. Do they have make create? Make formula? Oh, look at me. Hey, buddy. You're not a friend, are you? But now he's not afraid of the light. That's cheating. I don't care for this. Hey, buddy. How you like it up there? I don't remember there being quite so many skulls here. Oh, okay. For some reason, I didn't think I had control. Man, the piss water's coming for me. It's a bunch of Gru statues that say exile on them. I'm likely to be eaten here. I never thought I'd get on that boat. Remember this place. Why do we even have that lever? Yay, this reminds me of a certain other game I don't want to spoil. It's a good game. Oh, hey, look at me. Uh, unplug. Unplug me. Weird that I have the ability to do this. Yeah, why doesn't everyone just sort of come to terms with their existence and then, through sheer force of will, create an imaginary button that frees them from exile? Idiots. Is, like, everyone in town free and they just, like, let me lock- stay locked up in there? That's really rude. Hello. Stopped exile and revived the people. No, they're all talking- Oh my god! They're- they're like the people on the Axiom in Wally. -E. They all have floating chairs. 
None of them walks around. They all have floating chairs. I think that by and large made the FaceTime continuum. Exile is dead. That's so rude! Exile's not dead! I was locked there like two seconds ago! Wait, let me go buy the big mask. The big giant head. Actually, why don't I stop by the FaceTime continuum? Everything look good? We have like a big happy triangle? Sure. 3D kite or whatever. You don't even want to talk to me. These guys are so rude. Maybe we should have left them stay in exile. Someone turn the face off. Still kind of screaming in terror, though. Need me to do something? Oh. Hi. Go up. You open the doors and revive the tower. I want to be really clear about this. I think that last section was really cool, but it's alarming to me how much... It feels like it undoes some of the notion of the game for me to save everyone from exile, but they, they leave me locked up in exile even though I helped them all. Like, that seems really messed up. It's a lot more dramatic than, like, go up, push button, be sad, game over. Hello, everyone. Just gonna... Wait, can I talk to anyone? Nah, everyone's just kind of doing their own thing. That's fine. I can push the button. I just thought maybe there'd be, like, some fun dialogue or something. Okay, cool. Push it. Push it real good. <laughs> In this together, reaching the real end of the game. Make a big 3D kite forever. Oh no, wait, that's the that's the same symbol for God, right? Yeah. Oh. If you like that's cute. If you change its orientation, it's like the thing that is like central to all the different peoples. That's cool. That's really cool. Now we're hanging out with that kid, and... And then Dick Dastardly's hiding behind a corner going, CURSES! Nope, my audience is too young for that. Fair enough. Yeah! Woohoo! Lily Cat is a fun nickname. What country was this game made in? I, I feel like I'm seeing representation from, like, Possibly multiple multiple cultures, so it's not immediately obvious. It does feel like there's a good amount of France. Is this straight up France? Yeah, France seems maybe right. That's inter that's that's interesting context based on my earlier question of like, what is it like to localize this game in other languages when it like wasn't made by an English speaking country? This game's really cool. I, hey, do you think that it's gonna do the Black Sad thing where if we watch the whole credits, we'll like drop out of the skybox or something? There's a lot of really clever touches in this game. The whole like, that, that last thing of like this shape that we've been constructing the whole time was like the devotee's god and the, the duty of the warriors I think was their symbol. And, like, I think beauty from the uh, bard people and some something from the science people. I don't remember what theirs was. But, like, 
it's it's a really interesting little thing to just sort of make it about like the context of culture that like they all had the same symbol at the center of their own individual cultures and then at the end they're like see we all have common ground because we all wanted the same thing which is the symbol that represents the unity of everyone and we just sort of lost our way along the way um and this game is great i mean like there's a couple of little things that aren't my favorite in it like i said before i'm not sure that i particularly feel as though like the stealth is adding terribly much to the game um but like Wow, that's just that's just a really really good game. Hi highly highly recommend. Uh, perhaps my like favorite game that's come out this year. I've played some other games this year that I like that were from like past years. I don't know. I'm not actually sure that for me personally, a lot of games have come out this year that I'm excited about. Hmm. Gotta get for Cheryl for Christmas. I think she'll really like this. It's a really good game. And she likes puzzle stuff. And it has like a good sort of... Um, immersive narrative. What's that thing called? What's that thing called that everyone loves from like the Dark Souls games? Environmental narrative or whatever. Uh, let me go ahead and close that. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, I'm not saying that it's necessarily deserving of, like, best game of the year and everyone shouldn't like the popular candidates, of which there were several, but, uh, I'm inclined to like a certain type of game, and that was, that was really it. Um, I like that game a lot. I'm not quite sure... I'm trying to think of, like, how I would rate it. I mean, I think it technically earns... A 10 out of 10 on a on an integer scale from me. There aren't that many games I rate like truly 10. I feel like I'd probably give this like a 9.9 .9 or something. Just because there's like a few little fiddly things here and there that like make the game challenging that aren't like part of the intentional challenge. And like I think I would forgive the presence of the stealth stuff. If everything else was, like, completely perfect, I think I'd be totally fine giving it, like, a true 10 out of 10. But, like, just little things, like, some of those get, like, just, like, upgrade is, like, a really clear example of, like, that's just kind of awkward and, like, difficult to wrap your head around without already, like, understanding what you're doing. Um, But, like, it's, it's a really good game. I can't think of any game that does a puzzle in the way that this game treats language and it's just so rich and interesting and what's great is like i feel like you could in theory do a sequel to this game and it wouldn't necessarily have to like undo like the work of bringing everyone together in the end like you could even like take like the same premise and just have people exploring like a young world and like finding new cultures out in the world and then trying to discover their language and help them with something so that they become friends with you or something like that. Not saying that this game needs a sequel or that the video game industry isn't already obsessed with the idea of making sequels even more so than like Hollywood is. But my point being that like, it's a robust enough idea that you could build on it if you wanted to, and it wouldn't take away from the cohesive experience that the story gives you. And I think that the story of this game is great, and the mechanical experience of this game is great. And for the most part, I think those things complement each other to make something even better than the individual strengths of those aspects. Yeah, the game has some really, really minor flaws, but, like, this is a really, really good game. Big, big fan of Chance of Sinar. Uh, and it's so funny because I became interested in this game watching, like, 20 minutes of another streamer play it. And all that accomplished was watching, like, the tutorial and going into that first room with all the murals in the Devotee Land. And it's not that long after that that the game really dramatically changes, and I was still already interested. I was like, yeah, 
that seems interesting. I like didn't think it was like a super long game because they never finished that playthrough. They only played like a little bit. I was like, oh, it seems like it might be just like a few hours or something. That's fine. Uh, I don't know how you start this game and don't finish it unless like you really are struggling with the puzzles and aren't willing to like brute force some of those rough edges, which that's fair enough. But like, it's just so compelling to me, the story and the gameplay itself. Like there are puzzle games where some of the puzzles are frustrating enough that like it no longer, like you're not, you wouldn't finish it for the joy of playing the game. If that makes any sense, like you would, you would keep playing for the sense of completion of the experience. For example, to some extent that that may be where I'm currently at emotionally with Rain Code. I do want to finish that game, but the gameplay in that game is... Um, but this is a game where, like, even if the story wasn't compelling, I think I would still want to do the puzzles. It's the exact reason why playing through this game I was like, I don't really want to brute force anything unless I have to, because I am just like enjoying it for its own experience. Like I, I want to do the puzzles. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I recommend this game, uh, to everyone forever. Uh, sp spread the word on this. Like you should tell people about this game just so that more people will buy it. And that the company who made this great game is rewarded for their efforts. And that more, tell, just tell the world about the can eat more, is what I'm saying to you. If you know all of the references to early Futurama like I do. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I think we talk quite extensively while playing the game about some of its strengths and why it's so great. So I don't think I need to elaborate too much further, but I, I do think it's great. And, and I do appreciate the little twist there where they put you in exile. I, I think it's a little narratively it feels kind of uncomfortable that everyone is cool with you just being locked in a broom closet in exile for some amount of time after you saved them from the matrix robots or whatever like that doesn't seem extremely cool and i wish that there was like a way to reconcile that but like honestly in the scheme of things like the idea of the weird fake ending followed by finding yet another way to change the interpretation of the relatively small world that still feels really expansive is is pretty creative and clever and overall worth the weirdness. Maybe they aren't unlocked until you are, but like we had to unlock ourselves from it. And when we went outside, everyone was already chatting and like the people from the lower levels of the tower were already hanging out upstairs waiting for us to just like talk to them. Like, I don't think that was the implication. It kind of just feels like Everyone was so excited to be freed from exile that they didn't notice that robots shot us with lightning and put us in a broom closet. Which, like, on one hand, I sort of understand how they wouldn't save us if they weren't aware of it, but, like, it just feels like they should know that we're missing and they should be, like, looking for us at the very least, even if we still save ourselves. Like, some, like it feels a little weird to me. It doesn't, like, ruin the game, but, like, I can't help but feel like something's a little off there. And I think it's mostly just for the convenience of, like, having that cool sequence at the end, which is cool. I, I do like that a lot. And not having that disrupt the harmonious positivity of bringing everyone together. So, like, it may be more worth it than trying to find a slightly more complicated narrative hook at the end. I just, I don't know. Part, part of me wishes that that uh, were addressed. Um, so, I think what I'm going to do here... I mean, I guess we'll start with this. I'm going to wrap up this recording for the sake of YouTube so that this doesn't have to be merged with whatever we spend the rest of the stream doing. Um, and so I'm going to open the floor to some, somewhere on the couch behind me. Of course, I've hidden a secret squirtle, but perhaps there may be multiple in case of emergency. And rather than revealing the location of everything, if someone finds a squirtle, perhaps I will reveal that location or one of those locations that may contain a Squirtle. And then there may still be Squirtles to find at the very end of the stream. So, uh, 
I'll, I'll let people watching live uh, sort that out for a moment. Uh, I will say in preparation for an impending end to this recording, uh, I hope that you have enjoyed Chance of Sinar. Uh, if you've made it this far, I'm not entirely sure I can convince you that playing through the game all by yourself uh, after having watched it is necessarily what you want to do. But there are many people who have only watched bits and pieces of this. And if you happen to be one of those, it's honestly worth playing the rest of the game. It's really, really good. If it looks good at all to you, it is. You will like it. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Thank you for being here. Thanks for being you. And I hope to see you again soon. Uh, I do have something in mind to start playing at the beginning of the new year to sort of replace this as an ongoing series. Um, it's a game I've actually kind of wanted to play for a while that I think will be in a similar... Not exactly the same thing as Chance of Sinar, because nothing is really like Chance of Sinar, but like something kind of similar, I think. Nice Pyrus niece you have. Uh, is that... Oh god, it's gone all blurry because I pointed or something. Camera's been real finicky lately, and I don't know why. Uh... Can you translate that for me, Ice Bunny? I didn't find that glyph during the course of my game. Uh, let's see. Uh, got behind Togepi, Prasheen, Santa Snoopy. Ah, the hat. Okay, that is kind of what I thought. Thank you. It is... You can see it a little better if I take the headphones off. It's unconventional because it is both a Santa hat and also has, like, a baseball cap brim to it. Um, let's see. All right, I think I know what to reveal. Which isn't to say that only one of these guesses is correct, because perhaps that isn't true. But... We do have a new addition to the couch, and traditionally, it often conceals a secret squirtle. Much is the case with this little Santa Snoopy, who was obtained last week in concert with the Holiday Charlie Brown, Squishmallow, and Reindeer Santa Cape Woodstock. But he needed a little surgery because his hat was coming off, and my mom did that over the week so he could be here for a stream uh, before the end of the year. Which was uh, another instance of my mom's infinite generosity. Um, if you wish to see where other Squirtles may be hiding, I encourage you to check out whatever stream is uploaded alongside this, which won't be extremely long. Uh, but again, thanks for watching and for being here and for being you. And whether you watch that video or join me again for Adventures in the New Year or for more of the ongoing <laughs> hit and miss struggles of Raincode, uh, take care of yourselves and remember that you are Colossum.